Let's go over the conic section's shape of a circle. So the standard form of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. All right, and so just a couple things about this. HK is the center of your circle. It's a point. So that's going to be your center. And R is going to be your radius. So if you have an equation x minus 2 squared plus y plus 5 squared equals 9. We can graph that and we can also find the center and the radius. Your center is going to be at the point 2 comma negative 5 and that 2 does not want to write. Okay, 2 negative 5 and my, cent or my radius is going to be the square root of 9, which is 3. So let's see how we would graph that. So we have our graph there. And it's at 2, the center would be at 2, negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, from that point, you just go out 3. So, from every direction, left, right. So, up 3, right 3, left 3, and then down 3 is a little out of, well, that, let's see. Three and down three. We'll just put it right there. And then you can just sketch your circle based off of your radius and your center. All right, so now let's look at how we would write the equation of a circle using or being given the center and the radius. Let's say we have a center at negative 2, 7. And we have a radius of 5. To put that into the standard form, remember the standard form is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals your radius squared. So we have x minus negative 2, so that's plus 2 squared, plus y minus 7 squared equals your radius squared. And your radius is 5, so 5 squared is 25. So you can either have the standard form and get the center and the radius from that, or you can be given the center and the radius and write it into standard form. Now really quick, if we were to graph that, probably need a little more space than normal here. Um, there. We have our center is at negative 2, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then my radius is 5, so I'm going to go out 5 every direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we're going to kind of have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And let's go and graph our circle. And we have our circle right there. The radius is 5. Now think about the radius. If the radius is 5, 
Just really quick, what would the diameter be? Double five, the diameter would be ten. Okay, and you could do lots of things with this. Now you could find the circumference, you could find the area, all kinds of cool things. All right, let's look at one more case where we're not given our equation in standard form and we need to put it into standard form. So now we have an equation, x squared plus 6x plus y squared minus 10y minus 2 equals 0. And we need to put this into standard form, meaning we have to have the x group square, squared plus the y group squared equals the radius squared. So the first step to do this is to group the x and y's in their own separate groups and bring any constants over to the right side. So here we have x squared plus 6x is its own group because those are all the x's plus y squared minus 10y and then we're going to add the two over to the right side. Now what I want to do is I want to complete the square for both the x group and the y group so that we can put them into their own perfect squares. So let's take the x squared plus 6x. Well, we'll start with the 6 and we'll divide it by 2. That is 3. And then we take that 3 and we square it. That equals 9. So, we add 9 here, but if I add 9 right there, we also have to add 9 right here. Right. And we're going to do the same thing for the y group. So we'll take this negative 10, we'll divide by 2, that equals negative 5. And then if we take that negative 5 and square it, that is 25. So I'm going to add 25 right here. What it does by adding 25 is it makes this y group a perfect square and the adding 9 makes the x group a perfect square. And just remember if you add it on the left side you need to add it on the right side of the equation. Alright, so now what we have is x squared plus 6x plus 9 is actually x plus 3 squared y squared minus 10y plus 25 is y minus 5 squared and then 2 plus 9 plus 25 is 36. So we get 36. So we have right here found the center as negative 3, 5, remember it's always the opposite sign, and then the radius is equal to 6. Now that we have this equation in standard form, we can graph it. Alright, so let's take a look here. Alright, so our center is negative 3, 5, and my radius is 6. So here's our graph with the center at negative 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the radius of 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I'm just counting them out, and then we have our circle. So there's our center, or I mean our circle, with a radius of r, which is 6 and the center at negative 3, 5.